Are Delhi Police Commissioner B.S. Basi's men guilty of inaction in a case that has alarmed and stunned even a cynical and hardened city like Delhi with the murder of Minakshi? That's her in the top right-hand corner of your screen. This is cold-blooded daylight murder that has jolted the capital city. 19-year-old Minakshi was stabbed to death 35 times in broad daylights after she had complained over months of a pair of men who were sexually harassing her. Would she have been alive had the Delhi police take greater action against those she had complained about? The murder has acquired full-fledged political overtones now. The BJP has hemmed in the Ahmadmi party and the Congress has joined in the fight as well, both against the ruling BJP which governs the Delhi police. Both accusing the Delhi police of complete inaction, of ignoring the girl and her family's complaint, resulting in her being stabbed 35 times in broad daylight on Thursday. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister on, of Delhi, as you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, is in Anand Parvat area of Northeast Delhi where the murder took place. He has openly attacked the Modi government. It's a horrifying incident in the national capital. A 19-year-old girl was stabbed more than 30 times to death by two men for resisting sexual harassment over many months. The attack took place in the Anand Parbat area of northeast Delhi on Friday. The victim, a class 11 student, was sexually harassed by her neighbor Jay Prakash and his brother in a busy marketplace in broad daylight. When she resisted, Jay Prakash and his brother stabbed Minakshi more than 30 times on the face, chest and stomach until she was unconscious. The victim's mother too was attacked when she tried to rescue the girl. The victim had earlier in 2013 reportedly filed a molestation case against the two men. The case has attracted political attention. Delhi's Home Minister Satyendra Jain has written to Police Commissioner B.S. Basi asking him to submit a detailed report in two days. However, Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has pinned the blame directly on the Delhi Police and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, whose BJP governs and administers the Delhi Police. He made that attack on Twitter. So as we speak, Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is in Anand Parvat in Northeast Delhi. Kejriwal has blamed the Modi government. The Delhi police, Kejriwal and his deputy Manish Sisodia have reached Anand Parvat. That's the very latest we're getting to you right now. He is there to meet the victim Minakshi's family. This comes a day after Arvind Kejriwal explicitly tweeted, placing the blame on the Modi government and the Delhi police. Remember the story is that Minakshi and her family had complained about the harassers at least two years ago. But apart from some action in the beginning, the men thought it fit to try sexually harassing Minakshi one more time. And when she resisted, they murdered her by stabbing her 35 times. I want to get a quick ground report from India Today's Anindo Banerjee, who's with us live from Anand Parbat area in the exact spot where Minakshi was murdered just three days ago. Anindo, it's all out political now. Arvind Kejriwal, the chief minister, is there to meet the family. What's happening right now? Uh, well, uh, you rightly said, uh, Shiv, that at this point of time, the Chief Minister of Delhi, uh, Arvind Kejriwal, as well as the Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, uh, Manish Sozia, both are here to meet the parents, uh, particularly the grieving mother, who also has been injured in the, in, in the, in the process. But uh, the, unfortunately, the, the whole matter has turned political. Uh, the, everything, every time there's a, pol everything, there's a gruesome crime, I mean, a, 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 particularly a crime of this nature where it's more, I mean, stabbed, the girl was stabbed more than 30 times rather 35 times to be precise and uh, you know i mean uh, the the uh, violence was unspeakable yes in the manner it has been done and it all boils down to twists it all boils down to accusations and counter accusations whoever delhi uh, delhi police falls under whoever uh, whoever who's whoever, whosoever is guilty for it i mean that's a matter to be decided later but for the matter the fact of the matter is the this is not the first time the culprits uh, harassed the girl there has been they harassed her before the Delhi police didn't take action 
why the real police didn't take action why the culprits were not booked at this well, we're going to try and we're going to put those questions out there we've got a special line of guests joining me on this special broadcast as that live situation plays out where minakshi was murdered in northeast delhi i want to just give our viewers a sense of how political this entire crime has actually become it's not the first time a crime of this kind has happened in delhi but this one somehow has shocked people for the impunity the fact that it happened in broad daylight and the fact that there was a complaint about these very people who've committed this murder here are some reactions that have already come in bahut bura hal kar raha hai meri bachchi ke sath mere ko kuch je mere ko insaaf chahiye aur uske ghar mein si lagwa aur sasi wale ko giraftar karo atti un ladki ke haath pakde hai uski maan hai जब चक्कू मारे हैं लड़कों ने लड़की को बाल पकड़े हैं यहाँ से और उसके लड़की के हाथ पकड़े हैं जब उस लड़कों ने चक्कू मारे हैं मैं सर आपको क्या बताऊँ ऐसे ऐसी जगह चक्कू मारे हैं लड़की के जब मारने की कोई हजी नहीं है एकदम घायल इतनी ऐसी हालत में आई थी कि उसको लड़की को उठा नहीं आता उसका सारा शरीर ऐसी ऐसी जगह से काट दिया था कि बस पूछो मत जब मैंने उसको गोदी में उठाया वो मेरे को मेरे को और मेरी दीदी बेटी की लड़की है उसके बाद मारी खुशबू दीदी खुशबू दीदी हुआ मेरे को बचाओ बचाओ तो मैंने उसको उठाया तो वो मेरे शक्ल देखने के साथ ही ऐसी कैसी बेहोश हो गई है वो लड़की आगे सर की पीछे से गया उसने चाकू निकाला उसके कमर पे बैक पे सारी जगह उसके लेग पे भी मारे चाकू तो उस लड़की ने पीछे से उस लड़की के बाल पकड़े बाल पकड़े उसको नीचे फेंक के मारा नीचे फेंक के मार के ना उसकी लड़की की माँ ने उसके हाथ पकड़े हैं और लड़के ने उसको यहाँ चाकू मारा और यहाँ चाकू मारा है उस लड़की ने अपने आप को कैसे भी बचा के वो किसी के घर में घुसी है जब वो उनके घर में घुसी ना उस लड़की को उसने बाल पकड़ के नीचे फिर घसीटा है पुलिस को दो साल पहले दो में अक्टूबर के महीने में जो विक्टिम की फैमिली है उन लोगों ने कंप्लेन की थी पुलिस की कंप्लेन पे कोई अगर गंभीर कार्रवाई हो गई होती उन दोनों शोधों को पकड़कर अगर जेल में डाल दिया गया होता अगर उनको सख्त से सख्त सजा मिल गई होती तो शायद आज वो लड़की हमारे बीच जिंदा होती जब पुलिस के ही लोग एमएमएस बनाकर ब्लैकमेल करना शुरू कर देंगे बंदूक की नोक पर बलात्कार करना शुरू कर देंगे और सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट के केसेज में कंप्लेन पर सख्त कार्रवाई करने से इनकार कर देंगे मना कर देंगे तो इस देश की महिलाएं दिल्ली की महिलाएं अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए अपने आत्मसम्मान की सुरक्षा के लिए अपनी इज्जत की सुरक्षा के लिए किसकी तरफ गुहार लगाएं ये एक बड़ा गंभीर प्रश्न हमारे और आपके सामने आज हमने दिल्ली में देखा हम तो अपील करेंगे कि सिर्फ महिलाओं को उस टेलीविजन चैनलों पर और व्यक्तित्व से मदद करने की बात न करें कार्रवाई तत्काल होनी चाहिए और इस इन सारी घटनाओं की मैं बहुत बहुत निंदा करता हूँ and as we continue to bring up bring you that live developing situation where arvind kejriwal is meeting with the family of minakshi he's also announced the routine compensation uh, you know that politicians and the government usually do uh, you know when there's a great deal of scrutiny on cases of this kind i'm joined live now by karuna nandi advocate with the supreme court she's also written extensively uh, on uh, india's Uh, laws, especially the laws against rape, the laws against stalking. We also have with us uh, Richa Mishra. She's a national spokesperson for the Aam Aadmi Party. It's her party chief and chief minister of Delhi who is currently in Anand Parvat, meeting with the family of Minakshi. But before we get to the political aspect of all of this, I want to ask you, Karuna Nandi, uh, what is this really about? You know, the one thing we can always expect immediately in a story like this are the political reactions the face offs the blame games between uh, you know between between the politicians that that you're seeing play out so explicitly at this point of time but ms nandi what really is this story to you a failure of the delhi police a failure of existing laws what goes through your mind when you see what's playing out as far as this story is concerned there are three major failures chief The first failure is the fact that the woman made a complaint and the police failed to act on it. This yes. is the most obvious failure, right? But why is it that the uh, this this you know this very incredibly brutal backlash happened? Because why did the molestation happen in the first place? The underlying thing is that the woman does not have the right to say no. Hmm. Woman raises her voice, goes to the police, and then there is a comprehensive shutdown. Yes. Of her life. Yeah, right. We had another case in Ghaziabad where um, 
a rape complaint was made and then the girl was raped again. There was another case um, uh, 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 last week, I think it wasn't in Delhi, but where a girl made a rape complaint, police uses her as bait and she gets raped again. So now the thing is that in the absence, their witness protection program guidelines were sought by the Delhi High Court in 2013 and in 2013 they were submitted. All over the country we do not have witness protection programs. So what do we have? Basically only in a case where a witness is either can provide themselves protection or there isn't that kind of backlash from yes. the um, from uh, from the accused is is can any law and order have even a hope in hell right if you look at also the vyapam cases which is exactly the same issue you know the underlying issue is the same right right um uh, one of the underlying issues is the same and i just think that here there is no real option now either for the delhi police and the delhi government to work together that is the union government and the delhi government to work together or for the police to be handed over the control over that the is the scariest thing that you've said there delhi is no government. option Karuna. i just want to uh, sorry for interrupting but i i just want to pick up on that particular point because it is on that point that you're seeing the you know the political hostility actually play out now richa mishra of the Ahmadmi party is with us richa you know, one thing we've always expected is for politicians to jump into such issues. But this is a much more serious issue. It's not just about a tutu me me between the BJP and the Ahmadmi party. This is about a woman who's been stabbed in broad daylight. And like Karuna Nandi just said, it's, it's, it's a failure at a shocking number of levels. You're right, Shiv. It's just not about politics. It's much more than that. And you know, currently in India, the situation of women is deteriorating day by day. We have had very prominent stalking cases in 2011, Radhika Tomer, Delhi University case, very, very highlight, it was highlighted very much. Then in 1996, Priyadarshini Mattu case yes, came into absolutely. scene. Delhi police was not able to handle. Yes. So Delhi police is, is following the same pattern of governance. And when I'm coming back, to Modi Sarkar, yes. Modi government, that before elections they said that they will streamline everything. I want to know what they have done. They have not been able to do on the government you know, they, and the administrative break. Right? They have not, you know, changed Delhi police on any level, be it on is, governance level, be it on counseling level, be it on monitoring level, no level. This is, I, I want to quote from the letter in my hand. I've got the letter of Satyendra Jain, who's the Ahmadmi Party's Delhi uh, uh, Health Minister, who's written a letter to the police commissioner of Delhi, where he's basically said, the inaction of the police to provide security to the deceased girl has in a way abetted the crime by inaction. Shazia Ilmi of the BJP is also with us. Shazia, uh, you know, this has become a direct fight now with the Congress and, uh, you know, Congress and the Ahmadmi party not really teaming up, but focusing their attack directly, not just at the BJP, but at Prime Minister Modi, as Richa Mishra just said. You know, all those promises of making sure the laws, making sure all those changes ever since the Nirbhaya attack, uh, you know, would actually mean something for women's security. True. Yes, Shiv, but I will not really uh, fall in that same trap. And uh, uh, much as I'd like to say and repeat and reiterate and not run away from the fact that Delhi police should not have ignored the warning and should have been taken very seriously and this is something that's done very often. But I will not allow uh, this to become uh, just a political matter because it's precisely because of this attitude. You know, parties blaming each other that nothing really happens. I think it's to do with a society and socialization. We are looking at all, we don't look at any preventive measures. So and across the board, in all the states, we face the same kind of an issue. So yes, you can uh, blame Modi government. I can also sit down and say that, you know, we had posters when I was in Ahmadni party that, you know, there were rapes in Delhi during Sheila Dix's time. In our time, there will be no rapes when I was in AAP. So I can blame AAP and say, you know, the rapes are continuing. And they will say, but this the is, Delhi yes. police is under B, is BJP. So the fact of the matter is, there is a, it's a systematic failure. It's a failure of us as a people. And unless and until we don't look at something preventive, something that, uh, that in, in, it involves us as people, our socialization, what are we doing in schools and colleges? Mm -hmm. How safe are our public spaces? Okay. In private spaces in our homes, how do we view women? So I think this needs, uh, uh, you know, I, we can just make it a, 
tu tu mein mein fight congress bjp aap and you know i'll become a very but it already has Masha. become one but if you're serious about women if you really care if you're very care uh, we really care we should we wish all should get together and hang our heads in shame be it bjp aap or congress or ai dmk dmk bsp and say we have failed the women of this country all of us have because a woman gets stabbed i mean it's so brutal think about it she's complaining she's helpless I mean, the children in Bangalore. I was reading about the other day. Little girls who are getting raped. Something is wrong. Ka and terribly Karuna wrong. Karuna Nandi, and, you know, you know hanging in heads in shame. Too, but this not, like not this. being so a tutu meme is. So I think on a war is, footing, is, is, socialization you know, and changes in yes, it should not be relegated to that. Is absolutely. What I'm saying. Okay. And look, I will not participate in a very serious matter. No, but 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 what is this really about in that case, Karuna Nandi? You know, uh, at the end of the day, you can take the politics of it for granted. You can always expect that uh, you know the tutu meme that Shazia says she doesn't want to be part of will actually finally play out. But is that going to serve a purpose? I mean, at the end of the day, you've never seen the Delhi government and the Delhi police in a more hostile kind of eyeball to eyeball situation. Uh, you know, uh, 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 at any uh, anyway. So you know, does that mean that things are only actually going to get worse in this particular case, Karuna Nandi? In front of us, the complaint was first filed in 2013. This girl gets murdered in 2015 because of lack of action, number of uh, number of cases. Obviously, this means that if you've got the Delhi Chief Minister and the Delhi Police Commissioner, uh, you know, uh, with their daggers drawn for each other's throats, you know, what hope do women have in the city, or anybody for that matter? So this city is the most privileged in the country yes. in terms of media focus. In terms of there's a lot of money sloshing about in the government, and the Aam Aadmi Party itself says so. The Delhi government itself says so. Thirdly, there's a real opportunity here because this is, you know, one of the few situations where the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP both have an equal responsibility. Yeah. Right. Now we have a witness protection that was already programmed that was already framed in 2013. The Aam Aadmi Party needs to commit. Within a particular timeline, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, to pass it, and the LG needs to work with them for that. The second thing is that they need to sort out how the Delhi police and the Delhi government, the law ministry and the home ministry, are going to work together. Is Because that gonna, okay. this situation for citizens is unacceptable? Let, let's put that question to uh, Richa Mishra. Richa, you know, there is no, there is no note of. conciliation of trying to sit together i know that shazia ilmi you know is sounding sensible at this point of time saying you know no tutu meme we should hang our hang our heads in shame shame and put our heads together and try and work something out for the betterment of women and i respect shazia ilmi for saying that but there are bjp leaders all of us know there are bjp leaders who are saying something entirely different trying to put the ball in the aam aadmi party's court but taking from what shazia ilmi has said what karuna nandi has said richa is it possible for the aam aadmi party not to you know given to the impulse of politicizing the situation which the chief minister has already done by attacking prime minister modi directly and perhaps inviting and trying to normalize the relations between the delhi government and the delhi police and the central government for the betterment of delhi because what has happened to minakshi is perhaps a symptom of that hostility shiv i think you must agree to this fact that aam aadmi party arvind kejriwal myself and my fellow colleagues are not here to be friends with people who are not doing their job properly if somebody is not doing their job properly we will raise our voice we will send tweets we will talk to them in one way or the another and we have done this in past and we are doing it right now also hmm. if this tweet of arvind ji had not appeared in the morning bjp or congress would have not even flinched a muscle the congress even held a press conference about it today that's right so it is only a, it is a repercussion of the tweet our duty is towards the masses if they are not if delhi police is lethargic in doing their work properly if their governance is uh, shattered then it is our duty to raise our voice if they don't like it they 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 may not like it it, it appears that the aam aadmi party's leadership uh, you know for the moment you know shazia while visiting the family while you know uh, spending time with them announcing compensation is uniformly using this as a an opportunity to attack the government talking about how delhi is completely lawless they're using it as a platform to attack you politically no i, I you know uh, well political parties would be political parties and i guess that's why they're in politics and we all are but i think going beyond that yes uh, and this has been happening in upa time in bjp time 
and the cases against our madni party leaders and uh, mlas also of wife beating and domestic violence so i i feel that in matters like these they are far too sacred and too important they define who we are as a people okay. i really feel these opportunities should not be used i really feel just for the sake of the women of this country to prevent any kind of violence one must to get together swallow one's pride it can't be us and them you can't presume that we are the holy paragons and others are all evil okay. delhi police must be doing something right also and is is wrong in this case i am not condoning that and of course they they wrong because they they they, they ignored a very important a warning you know this girl could have been okay. alive so nobody is disputing that well, but i think and, and every every net nirbhaya rape case and i'm sorry that when i was in aam aadmi party i was guilty of the same and we had posters like oh because sheila dikshit is there nirbhaya got raped the fact is women are getting raped in every city every state and oh, and and what do we do we come on channels and we make it about bjp and uh, modi sarkar okay. and rahul gandhi and arvind kejriwal but there's something bigger than all of us so i think there is something the delhi chief wrong. minister yes uh, the question is can the delhi government the delhi police the aam aadmi party government actually work together to uh, you know make sure failures of the kind that karuna nandi just described don't happen anymore we've come too long away we've made too many laws for failures of this kind to happen there's a kind of visceral horror to what happened to 19 year old minakshi on friday in delhi that has shocked people everywhere the question is is the politics the tutu meme that happens the media spotlight on issues like this a good or a bad thing the fact now is arvind kejriwal the delhi chief minister has said he is going to summon the delhi police commissioner is that going to be a constructive meeting or is it one to score brownie points politically speaking karuna nandi richa mishra shazia elmi appreciate you ladies joining us uh, this evening on this particular discussion it continues to be our top story at 7 pm as well when we will have more guests to discuss this and take this forward thank you very much for joining us